Okay, guys, we got a 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500. And I'm going to show you what all these buttons are. If you just bought a brand new one or if you just bought a new to you one, um, this video will give you a quick overview on what all these buttons do. Okay, we'll start off on the left hand side. You got the unlock lock, pretty self explanatory, the window switches. Um, this one's automatic. If it says A, you just have to click all the way down and it'll automatically go up. Okay, um, this is to lock the windows. So it'll lock all of them except for this one and only you can control them. Um, this right here, if you click it, your mirrors, your mirrors will go in. Okay, so that is that button. Um, this right here controls which mirror we can control and change. So right now we're gonna do this one. Just press it and a light will come on and then you can control it that way and move the glass to suit what you need. Okay, so we got all that. Um, this is the e-brake, the parking brake. There is not a manual one, so when you stop, you just press it and uh, Park brake set will pop up. This right here controls the headlights. Um, you can turn it off with that. If it's just on auto, it's going to be on automatic. This is just the running lights, I believe. And this is full time lights. And then, okay, and this one down here turns on the task lighting. For these two, we can control. Um, how bright this is. If you press the plus button, it gets brighter. The minus button, it gets dimmer. Um, this right here turns on the cargo lamp in the back. Right here, we got tow mode, two wheel drive high, four high, and four wheel drive low. And if you want to know how to use these, I'm going to make another video and I will link it in the description. Okay, moving over to the steering wheel, we got the cruise control buttons right here. This is to turn off cruise control, to turn on cruise control, to set or to go lower speed, um, and then resume or go a higher speed. This right here, these five, four buttons and the wheel slash button control the info screen right here. So we can scroll through it. And you scroll through by going up or down like this. So we can scroll through it and see what we want to do on there. And then press enter by pressing in on that. Okay, this button right here, um, you can press it to answer incoming calls or start voice recognition. Um, this one, you can press it to end a call, decline a call, or cancel an operation. You can also press it to mute or unmute the infotainment system. Okay, now right here, um, you may have seen this plus minus. That is the electronic range select or manual mode and it allows the selection of the range of gear positions. So you're gonna be using this mode when driving downhill or towing a trailer to limit the top gear and vehicle speed. So the shift position indicator, it'll display a number next to the L indicating the highest available gear. And it's actually right here you're looking at this um, knob right here the turn signal knob um, right here wipers are off you can turn it up and wipers go faster or slower um, if you press this water is going to squirt out um, washer fluid is going to squirt out um, pushing it out like that gives you your brights coming over to this bad boy um, we got the radio controls right here. This turns if you click it. Audio is muted if you press and hold it down. It's going to turn the whole system off and then turn it back on. You just press it. It controls the audio volume. Um, this goes back a track, goes forward a track. If you're listening to a radio station and you press forward, it's going to go forward to the next available station. This is the back button for the actual screen. So you can go back to the menu if you press it. And this is the home button. If you press it, you'll go back to the home button or 
back to where you were before. This right here is also, um, this is how you manually scan between the stations. And uh, so each click is um, one station. And then you can press this check button to go to the equalizer mode. And you can change the equalizer with your hand or finger via touch screen. So I'll exit out of that. Down here, we got the climate control. Um, it's dual climate control on this one. So obviously you just spin these around to decide where you wanna go and how hot or cold you want it to be. To turn it on or off, just press the button. If you press auto right here, it's gonna automatically control the climate control. And off the auto, you're just gonna move this and it's automatically gonna turn it off. So this is the fan selection. If you wanna turn it up or lower, you do so by just turning the knob. Um, this controls the rear defroster. Um, this is the maximum. If you press that, it's just gonna automatically do the maximum for the front defroster. You'll use that if you have ice or snow in the mornings and you wanna so these three just change the direction of the airflow. Um, this right here will be the uh, defroster. This right here is going to give you airflow through the front vents to the face area. And this is the leg one. And you can also have all of them on at the same time or turn one off or two off. Uh, this button controls the air conditioning when it's lit. That means AC is on. This is the circulation button. So if you want the air to come out of the vehicle, the outside of the vehicle, um, make sure it's turned off. If you want it to recirculate, turn it on. And obviously rear vents or rear window defroster and front window defroster. So this one controls um, heated seats on both the back of the seat and the bottom of the seat. And then this one is just the back part of the seat. And same as these two. If you press this button right here, it's gonna sync the climate control. So it's not gonna be dual anymore. And anything I do, if I press the button, they're both gonna change. Okay, so the first button right here is the exhaust brake. Um, this is kind of what you wanna use if you're going downhill and you don't wanna use your brake that much. Um, it's gonna help you brake naturally instead of having to use your brake. So this is good when you're going down steep hills. This is your tailgate control. You can press it to make your tailgate go down or up. This right here is your hazard lights. Press it to get hazard lights going. Um, this is how you turn off or on your traction control. Just press it one time, it'll turn it off. Press again, it'll turn it on. So right here, we'll turn on or off the power button. Um, right now it's turned on with the green light. Press it and it'll turn off takes about 10 seconds to do so and then you have to wait about 10 seconds to turn it back on so it's turned off right now and here um, that is the trailer brake buttons so if you go plus or minus uh, right now we're adding that's gonna give your gain for your trailer brake it's gonna go up some and then if you want to take it away you just press the minus button. So that's what that does going up here we got the overhead console. Um, just press the lights by pressing those. You can press this to turn the lights off when you open the door so the lights don't automatically come on. And you can press this to turn both the lights on or both the lights off. Then you have the SOS button, your OnStar button, and your voice services. You press this, and that's what's going to pop up.